Welcome back everybody. <clears throat> Gaming Grandpa here. Sorry about that. Doing a wrap up and it's about time I finished a wrap up. I have probably four or five games completed that I just haven't had time to do this with the moving, buying the house and whatnot. But anyway, this is Enslaved Odyssey to the West, the wrap up. Now, I liked this game. It, it was one of my favorites back in the day and the fact that the DLC is still obtainable means you can 100% the entire thing with DLC, which is what my series is all about. Now, overall, the collecting kind of sucked, but you use that to upgrade, so you kind of had to, you know, especially if you want 100% it. But, you know, some people start out not collecting them until the end. You can replay each chapter as you go. I would recommend pulling up a doggone guide and don't be like me and, you know, trying to wing it because there's a few that are not on the beaten path so you have to actually go hunt for them and it just makes it a little bit harder and you got to replay it and a lot of the missions you got to replay anyway because of specific achievements like that stupid matador achievement oh my gosh that's why i put that as the hardest achievement some people might argue and say collecting all the orbs you know is the hardest but that's just time consuming this one Oh my gosh, if you didn't watch the episode, you know, you should watch it and then you understand why I say it's the hardest one. But overall, you know, the game is still, you can still get it on the marketplace. So I highly recommend it because it was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it, especially if you don't care about 100% games like I do, then go ahead and play it. It's worth a look. If you can't get it, you know, buy it, get it on Gamefly, eBay, whatever. I highly recommend playing it because it was a really good game. And I used Gamefly to get it, so I know it's available that way. The problem with the 360 games on Gamefly is they only have a few copies. So, you know, they're out quite a bit. And if you notice, the availability never says anything on them. <laughs> so if you get a 360 game, I move, mine, I move mine all the way up to the top of my queue. That way I know I'll at least get one when they come in. But overall, it, it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. It took a little bit longer than a normal. The normal is uh, 17 and 25 hours. I did it in almost, you know, a little over 26. That's because I had to replay a few missions a few times. So, you know, but overall, once again, it was a, a fun game. I enjoyed it. It's definitely in my top 10 so far that I played that I enjoyed. So, you know, there's a difference between games that are easy to get the achievements and games that, you know, are hard and games that I enjoy while getting the achievements. This is definitely one of the ones that I enjoyed. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And once again, another game completely down. So thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more.